Twinkle, twinkle, little star, Google contacts the superstar. I think going forward, even a small child would say this because Google contacts is such an amazing tool which can be used for a business in a wonderful, wonderful way. In this video, we'll guide you step by step how you can tap into the power of using Google contacts for your business. You can use it for sales funnel management, label management, like having a tag for every single customer, saving customers contacts in small size or even in bulk like in a in a jiffy you can upload hundreds and thousands of customers contacts into your google account for free and how do we do all of that let's dive in hi this is james vineet author coach tedx speaker and a good friend who wants to see you and your business achieve skyrocketing growth if you have not subscribed to our channel or podcast the right time to do so highly recommend you to do that because we'll be sending or shipping wonderful, wonderful growth oriented practical videos for you. So let's get started. Earlier days, there were two options for us to save the contacts. Like you pick up a phone, you type one, two, three, four, five, and you try to save that number. Long back, we had only two options to either save that number into the phone's memory or to save that number into the SIM card as well. But now with all the Android and iOS, all the tech tech stuff, we are able to save it on the Gmail account itself. Some of us are already saving the contacts into the Gmail account, but some of us don't know that we are saving in there or don't know that there is an option like this that is available. Like if your company's phone was lost, like touch wood, you should not lose, okay? should not be lost, but in case your phone's not working or your personal phone company is not working. See, in our company, like this, we can get all the data back because we just have to take the new device, add the Gmail account in there, every single data will pop in over there. Because the contacts are in Google Contacts, the business docs are in Google Drive and whatnot. So it, the list goes on. So how do we really save into Google Contacts? Like if you're, if you're an Android user, just type one, two, three, four, five and try to save it. It'll ask you for like save in a Google account or save it in a Gmail ID. So you select that particular Gmail ID and you save it. And automatically all those contacts are saved in that particular Gmail ID. Like if you're an iPhone user, I don't think every time you save a contact, you can choose that, but you can go and do some settings in the back end, back end where there's a default Gmail ID that has been selected so that every single contact is, is going into that. All right, so how do I use Google contacts? Here you go. Just go to Google and ensure you're signed in. For the first time when you do, I would highly recommend for you to do this in your laptop or computer. Okay, just sign into your Google account. And once you signed in, as usual, just go to the right hand side top. You got these nine dots. Just click on that and you find account, search, business, YouTube, all of that but you can find this thing called contacts. Yeah, so just click on contacts. So sign into a Google account and click on contact. Here you go. This is Google contacts. I use multiple accounts, but I've, I've selected this particular account so that it's all clean and I can guide you from here as well. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new contact. I'm trying to add a phone number into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna say, Jimmy, Email ID, jimmy at gmail.com. Okay, just a sample I'm using. And phone 12345, okay? And I can also use a label like this is a work mail ID and this is a mobile number, right? Now I can click on save. The best part is if Jimmy already has a Gmail ID, he, the favicon, all this image also will get added. Done, contacts added now, okay? so. Jimmy contact is added. How cool is this, right? Should I only operate this from a desktop or a laptop? No, but the first time around, I'm just giving you, asking you to go through this so that you get the hang of it. Otherwise, just normally start typing in from your phone. You can directly save into your Gmail account. The idea is if you've got a person who's into sales, got a sales person. Now, after five years, he is leaving your company or maybe this person is getting promoted to another level or you know moving to another country or city for your business itself. 
So what would happen to all those contacts? Like there are so many business cards, right? Your contacts are your future contracts. Like there are so many cards. Are they even saved into your Google account? So when you follow this particular protocol, when that person is moving to another city, you can just take that email ID and give it to the new joinee or the other person who's filling up that particular role. Boom, all those contacts and details will be popping up over there. Now you got two choices. Like someone named, J named James is working for you. You can just say james at gmail.com or james uh, at your company name, like james at your company name.com or maybe in other words, james at 123.com. 123 or ABC being your company name. So james at abc.com. Now you might be wondering, should I pay and get it? Not necessarily. If you want to use a free account, you might not get at the rate abc or domain name.com, but you can simply use Gmail. How do you do that? You can say james at or james dot abc at gmail.com, james dot abc company at gmail.com. Any one of this you keep searching, you'll find one of these accounts and you can save it. But you also have another option, like you don't want to use the name James. Because once James leaves the company or gets promoted, now there's another Jimmy who's coming in. Okay, now you don't, you cannot give James's ID to Jimmy. Instead, you can even call that mail ID itself as sales.us at gmail.com. Probably it's a very common uh, mail ID you'll not be able to get, but james.sales, sales.abc.zone1 at gmail.com or sales1.abc india at gmail.com sales one abc uae at gmail.com so you can just give it like that so quite easy to use the contact so the next person comes like james left jimmy came jimmy does not need to use another email id jimmy would be okay with using sales one at you know sales one dot abc dot uae at gmail.com absolutely fine right but the idea is your person needs to use Google contacts, save all the numbers out there. So when they leave or you know whatever at any cost or when they get promoted, all the data is retrieved. You can just change the password and add it to the new phone. Everything is popping up over there. Now you have contacts in bulk, like in a Jiffy, you can add hundreds and thousands of contacts. You can upload it into your Google account. And how to do that? I'll show it to you. Like I'm gonna try and create a couple of other contacts as well. Sample one, okay. Sam two, contact sample. Okay, this should be a phone number. All right, now you go to contacts, you see I've created four contacts just like that. Like one has email ID, the other ones does not have because I have not fed into the system. Right now you can wonderfully use these labels. See, I've randomly created like expo visitor, new inquiry, quotation and all. Let's just say this Jimmy and Sam too, they've come to expo, okay? So I'm just gonna click on label. I'm gonna select expo visitor. I'm gonna click apply. So which means when I go to Expo Visitor label, I understand like you can create multiple labels. I understand that these people came to Expo. See, I'm not opening up my actual Google contacts here because I, I cannot put it up publicly, but you know, my team manages like in an amazing way. If one person has had attended six meetings with us, six labels would be tagged into that particular person's contact. You just look at the contact and my team would tell you this person attended this program on this date, this program on this date, visited us, visited us on this particular day, graduated from this particular course as well. So all details are perfectly tagged using Google contacts. Now let's just say this contact sample, Jimmy and sample, they are also new inquiries and I've also sent quotations to them. So you can see I have total four contacts, like same contact can can have multiple tags like this Jimmy contact is now quotation sent, expo visitor, new inquiry. You want to filter it like this? Yeah, expo visitor, new inquiry, quotation sent. You want another label like create a label and say 10K value 
plus. Like if these customers had bought products worth 10K value plus, just go add them into that. So you know who are your cream customers as well. $10,000 value plus or whatever it is. This is super bright. Okay, now you'll be having this doubt. Like I want to add all the contacts into Google. I want to bulk. I want to add contacts in bulk. How do I do that? Here you go. I've given you the link to this particular Google sheet. Okay. It is a non-editable sheet because if I give you the edit access, everybody would start working on this and the sheet will get, you know, it'll get confused or, you know, others who are using this sheet will get confused. So what you need to do is this is exact template. Just use it like this. Don't do anything. Okay. In fact, I'll even mention this and keep it like sample, sample, work, sample at gmail.com, mobile, one, two, three. Just this, don't do anything. Okay. What you need to do is open the sheet, click on file, come to download, and then click on comma separated values dot CSV. Okay, let's do this again. Open the Google Sheets, the link that I gave you. Click on File, click on Download, then click on comma separated value dot CSV. Clicked. Yeah, now the file has been downloaded into your system. Let's open this. I'm going to right click and open with Microsoft Excel. It is an actually actually a .csv file, but I'm opening it with Excel. Okay. So now you have a database, right? Somewhere all the data has been saved up or stored. Just copy and paste that over here. So how do you do that? I would be careful when you copy paste, like when you're starting from fifth row till hundredth row, copy the same names. And after that, copy the matching phone numbers and paste it in the sheet. Okay, but right now I'm not copy pasting. I'm just going to type it. Okay, so let's just say name one, name two, Jam, Tim, Tam, Tom, Jill, Jack. I'm just giving, making this up. Okay, so when you have this name next to name, you have to give something called given name. It is Google format, so you don't break your head why it is asking all these things. But I would just recommend you copy these names and paste it here. Just the same name, bring it here again. Name, given name. Simple. Now, slowly you come to the side. You just have to give their email ID and phone number. Okay. Mail at. Be okay with my typo errors, but the idea is we just want to get this done, okay? So I'm just going to copy all these emails and just going to keep it like this and phone numbers. Okay. So let's see from Jack. Yeah, so all the names are typed. Now what you need to do is just define this mail ID as work mail ID, define this phone number as mobile number. Okay, email type is work, email value is email. Phone type is mobile and phone value is the actual number. Done, you click save, job done. Okay, you can click on save. Sometimes in your computer, if this is get creating some problem to get saved, I would recommend you to just go to file, click, click on save as, and you can see, select this comma separated value dot CSV and just type in the file name. Okay. But in my case, I've not done that. I've just saved it. I'm going to close it, but I'm just going to double check anyways. I'm going to reopen this and find out if the contacts are right. Yeah. So it's still displaying whatever I added. It's still there. So I think I don't have any problem. It's all cool. Okay. So let me just close this and let me come back to contacts. You can see left hand side import. There's import and export. Export is when you want to take all the contacts from Google outside to an Excel sheet. 
but right now we're going to do import right so we're going to do bulk import so click on import select file if you want to create a label you can create a label here itself like expo new or want to create a new label also you can select a new label or there's another shortcut don't create a label upload it upload the contacts automatically one label will be created then you can define that label okay, i will show you i'm not i've not selected any labels now i'm going to select file google contacts selected click on import just click on import and one two and three you go this is wow right all the contacts are added now and google contacts also gives you another amazing feature like when there are two numbers saved as one number automatically the the machine learning or the ai tries to spot them like i can just click here find duplicates or it's called merge and fix okay so you see sample123 sample at gmail.com123 same mobile so google, gmail is asking me are these people the same if yes i will do yes if not i'll say no dismiss i'm going to click on merge so it's going to combine as same contact so it'll even avoid the duplicate contacts now all this email id will go there that uh, contact will come in over here this is super cool right and you can see i have all these contacts like we are using somebody's uh, contact so it's just coming like this so let me just go and edit the email id as sample okay so it will go off yeah so it's gone right now i can even select you can see these four this label got created automatically all these labels like imported on 9 bar 5 so i wanted to change this so what i can do is i can actually rename and tell them as stall visitors or i can also do another thing i can click on this i can select all these contacts and i can click on label i will add a tick on expo visitors and i will remove the tick on this label which is stall visitors i'm going to uncheck this is checked i click on apply you can see all the contacts are moved from stall visitor now everybody has been added to expo visitors all they're all added over there so if this label is unwanted i can just click delete and sometimes if you want to even remove an unwanted label when you click delete it also ask you for a option like i want to delete this expo visitor label it last me there are 10 contacts do you want to keep the 10 contacts and delete the label only or you want to delete the label with the contacts so i can even keep the contacts and then delete the label as well so you can actually play with this sales funnel etc etc so much can be used by by using google contacts in a much better way so take action start tapping into the power of google contacts i would highly recommend the services head or even the business owner or the manager or the divisional head should ensure all these contacts are saved up in their phone as well how do you do that you just add your employees google id gmail id into your phone as well so that all those numbers are displayed into your phone as well because suddenly for some kind of escalation or some support or even to give you a referral if a customer is calling you you, you need not be in a position of picking the phone and say hello sir hello ma'am can i have your name when did you come how long you've been a customer no 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 you just have be, you should be able to pick the phone and greet them by their name and say how can i help you that's a wow level service isn't it so what are you waiting for start using it and let me know in the comment section how was it after using okay i want you to transition to google contacts or in other words maybe start using google contacts and then tell me how simple how useful how effective it is so that others can read your comments and get inspired to take action This is James Vineet I will see you in the next video signing off